Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video, or should I say, another rant. Today will be much calmer as compared to the first half of my last video, so it'll be much better to watch. Also, YouTube, please don't terminate my channel or take this video down. Tons of other people are talking about this, like PewDiePie, uh, MatPat, Philip DeFranco, all of them, they're talking about it, and I'm just simply doing the same thing. So, without further ado, let's address the current issue that's at hand. Recently, new rules have been added to the main YouTube app, that being whenever a creator uploads a video, they must specify whether or not it's made for kids or not. Now, this is stirring up uh, a lot of controversy due to the fact that there's already a YouTube Kids app, which would obviously have videos made for kids already. Now, we as content creators have already gone through this family-friendly direction throughout the past couple years, and everybody's been used to it, but this system takes it to a whole nother level. We've all been used to not being able to curse in videos, but I think that rule has kind of died down because a lot of people still do it and I don't see them being taken down or anything, but it's, it's just different. And, you know, like I said, we've been used to it, but people get away with it. So that part is not a big deal. But if you don't specify whether or not your videos are made for kids, you can get fined money, and I could be wrong, but if you don't do something, you can be fined up to $42,000. Yeah, $42,000. That is just absolutely insane for not for a YouTube video. To me, I don't think this is very fair to us content creators because there are a lot of harsh rules on YouTube already, and this just makes it more difficult to sustain a thriving channel on this platform. Now. There are channels that are at risk, specifically the channels about uh, gaming, such as Minecraft, maybe Fortnite, uh, animation channels like The Odd Ones Out, Jaden Graphics. They are, or I don't know if that's the name of her channel, but they are also at risk. And like channels like me, who have small amount of subs compared to these channels, are also at risk because. For those that don't know, I had uploaded a video where it was a compilation of scenes from Infinity War and Endgame, and I had put the uh, the end music pack behind it, and within 30 minutes of it being up, Disney blocked the video. So they clearly see all these small channels, and another thing is that it's practically impossible to get monetized, and now we have this issue too with COPPA. Now, in my opinion, I think it's not fair because we put out the content that we choose to, of course, within the terms of uh, YouTube's terms of service. And they're doing this because kids watch things that they aren't supposed to watch at their age. You know, they might be interested in, say, a Fortnite video or a Minecraft video, and then they go on, and then the creators of the video are cursing. Um... So, to me, that's not really fair, and essentially, YouTube is blaming us content creators for making this kind of content, when it really isn't our fault at all. It's the parents' fault. This change brings crazy new changes to videos. When you specify that your videos are made for kids, if you are monetized, you lose 60% to 90% of the revenue, notifications do not get sent out either, and your videos don't get recommended on other people's videos if they relate whether or not they relate to it or not, sorry. All in all, I understand why they're doing this, but to me, it's not our fault. As I stated, I think it's the parents' fault. Nowadays, most people know what YouTube is, and if you ask a lot of people, I'm sure they would know what to expect on the platform. Content creators make videos about what they want, and if you're a parent who cares that much about what their kid is watching and what they should be watching, that, I think, is really up to you to keep them off the main YouTube app and put them on YouTube Kids. Because now, the regular YouTube app is also turning into YouTube Kids with all these rules to be family-friendly and kid-friendly. It's making the platform not fun. And I'm making up the, st the statistic, but I want to say that 80% of people who start making YouTube videos do it for the money. And I'm not one of those. Uh, getting monetization can be talked about in a whole other video, but... That, it's it's worth its own video, but that's not what we're here for. With all these insane rules, you're driving people away from your platform, especially considering that you have to have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of your channel watched by other people in the past year. People only who start off 
can only dream of those numbers because there are millions of YouTube channels and there are only a small fraction of that who get big and have monetization. But I know that this video will go nowhere, but YouTube, I'm, I'm reaching out to you to tell you that if you keep going in this direction, your platform will die out, unfortunately. I don't know if you guys know, but like a while back, there was this YouTube channel, McJuggerNuggets, who had this like little series that he portrayed as real for years, but ended up being fake. And he has made his he he and one of his friends and a whole bunch of other people have made their own app to rival YouTube. Now obviously it is not as big and it probably won't get as big. But there are no rules like COPPA and the FTC, whatever it is. There's no family friendly rules. You're able to actually do what you were able to do post like like before what YouTube is now. And you know, if they keep going in this direction, the platform will die out unfortunately. With me, I'm not like most people though. I enjoy making YouTube videos, which is why I do it frequently. To me, if I ever get monetization, that's just kind of like a bonus. But for others, I can't say the same. So I just wanted to make this little video not going too far into depth about what's going on because I'm just a 16 year old kid who likes playing Fortnite still surprisingly. If you want to go more in depth about it, uh, Game Theory uploaded like a 22 minute video, PewDiePie talked about it, you know, the people I mentioned before, Philip DeFranco, I'm sure you can find tons of videos talking about this new rule, but I, I don't know much about it, this is really all I know, so that's it for today you guys, like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you feel, get this channel big, and I'll see you all in the next one, peace out.